Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Weave Next Century, and today HTC finally pushed out the update for the HTC One to Android 4.2.2. And in this video, I'm going to show you some of the major improvements and new features that this new version of Android brought to the HTC One. So in my case, I'm running the unlocked international version of the HTC One. So depending on in which country you live, it certainly can take another while until the update is available. To check all the update, if it's available or not, you just have to go to settings, scroll down, go to about, then software updates. Now it will tell me that I have the airplane mode on, but otherwise you can then check there whether you have the new update available or not. Again, it might vary on the carrier or the location that you're based. But besides that, we already see one of the new features right here on the screen in the upper portion. So we now get a battery percentage. So if we go to settings and then we go to power, then we'll see that we can enable percentage, show battery level with the percentage, which I think is certainly something that helps a lot more than this small battery indicator up top. Now, as you see right there, I already did that with battery widget reborn but now it's nice to have this integrated into Sense. And you probably already saw the other new big feature and this was if you scroll with two fingers down then you'll have the new quick toggles that are integrated in Android 4.2.2. So here you'll have access to brightness, Wi-Fi, power save and so on. So it's certainly nice to have this integrated there. And then of course you can also jump directly to settings. Another really nice update is in regards to the capacitive buttons, especially the home button. So if we go to settings and then to display gestures and buttons, we already see right here we'll have home button and this first mode swipe up or press and hold for Google now is what used to be on the HTC One. Now we run into one issue with this. If we, for example, go to one of the games right here, so Basketball Mania, for example, we see that we have this ugly black bar here on the bottom, which is used to access the settings of the game. In this case, it doesn't even do anything, but it just takes up space on the screen and doesn't really look any good. So if we now go to settings again, and then again to the capacitive home buttons, then we can actually choose here to have swipe up for Google Now, press and hold for menu. And this now changes that again, we have to swipe up for Google Now, but that's not the important part. If we now go again to Basketball Mania, we will see that now the game is full screen. And this applies to actually all apps that were having this menu bar before. So now it's gone and you can actually take advantage of the 4.7 inch screen on the HTC One. So the last noteworthy improvement, at least for me so far in Android 4.2.2 is if we go to the camera, then just select something to focus on right here. It's kind of difficult to see on the camera. Then we get auto exposure and auto focus lock. Now this will be as long as you don't tap the screen. If you then tap the screen again, this will go away, but it's certainly nice to have, certainly reminds me of how it used to be or how it is on the iPhones but certainly a nice feature. And overall, I have to say, I'm pretty happy with the update. In terms of performance, I didn't really notice a big difference, but the performance was great to begin with. So I'm glad to see these minor improvements here on the HTC One. And this also wraps up my video. Let me know if you have an HTC One, whether you received the update or not. I'm really interested to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. See you next time.